Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, we're still in uh, 2016, we're still in Project B, and um, yeah, we're still chugging away at this little project here. Okay, so in the uh, previous um, video, um, we created these one, two, and three um, skillion roofs. Okay, and each of, the, each of them presented a range of different um, issues. This one was fairly straightforward, um, but just had a 450 overhang there. This one we were trying to get a gutter onto the brick wall because the brick wall is on boundary. And this one here is the front entrance, um, and I had, made, had to make a couple of attempts to uh, get this one sort of looking and feeling how I wanted it to. Okay, and also we had this little cutout here, so how do we do that? Okay, right here. So what we're going to do in this play, this, this video is a little bit, a little bit less arduous, I suppose. Okay, we're just going to basically start putting some internal walls down um, in order to further develop the project. Um, so that's where we're going to go. Okay, so really this is just about the wall tool today, so um, I'm just going to click on um, that wall tool there on the top left hand corner, architecture tab, wall tool, um, and I'm going to um, click on that down arrow, I'm, just going, I'm going to choose the stud timber 90 millimeter wall, okay. <coughs> Just keeping it really, really simple. Um, if I wanted to be super mega correct about this, you know, I, w I could create a wall with um, plasterboard, <coughs> etc. Either side of it. Um, I'm stopping not to do that right now, um, but certainly something we can look at down the track. Okay. So the first thing is um, I'm in my ground floor plan. I just want to um, let's get some basic wall layouts down, walls down, and just see what happens um, with the design. Like I said, I'm not, as I've mentioned previously, I'm not, um, d this is not a set design or anything like that, I'm designing on the fly. Um, it's not about world class architecture right now, it's just about um, skills and technique. Okay, so, uh, first one is I think we'll try and get this, um, a wall here between the, 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 the dwelling aspect and the garage aspect, so we'll, we'll do that one first. So, hey, modify, place wall, okay, I want the location line here to be on the wall center line, okay, um, reason being if I do choose to add plasterboard etc, um, it's not going to be too difficult to do. Right here, now wall center line will misbehave a little bit, if, if misbehave is the word, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically draw a section of the line there, I'm just going to turn my thin lines on so we can see, Ooh, there we go, that's much better. Okay, so, like I said, I've just drawn this little segment in here, okay, but you can clearly see that this does not line up with that, okay, and I didn't want to join this in straight away. So what I've done here is, um, just drawn it short so I can show you a new tool, or um, refresh you on um, the align tool. So I'm just going to go in here, I'm going to go to the Modify tab. Um, we've got the Align tool there. And I'm going to click on this line here, which is where I'm aligning to. So this is my um, destination plane. And this is the wall that I'm aligning. Okay, and I believe we did this one correctly, so everything should be fine. So now what I can do is I can um, highlight that wall there and uh, pick up my little grip and just attach it onto there. Okay. Nice little rivet there, just fillets and cleans up those corners for us so we don't even have to do fillet and trim commands and things like that. Okay, so that's that one done, that's nice and easy. Okay, so now it's a matter of um, yeah, just making sure we, we, we spit in a range of uh, wall so I mean this is going to be the um, sort of like the foyer and the entry so um, don't know let's, let's allow some sort of uh, what we got there 
Okay, so if I click on, if I want to know what this distance is without having to use a distance tool, I can click on this element here. Okay, and there we have it's tell it's giving me a distance from this edge here to that edge there. Okay, but that doesn't tell me what the distance is between the wall and the stairs. Okay, which is going to be our hallway. So, but what we can do with these temporary dimensions, if I zoom down, there is a grip there, or a wit what they call a witness line. And if I left click and hold the left click button down, or left button down, I can drag this witness line and tell it to measure, say, there. Done. Okay, so as long as it's in the same alignment, it will very easily pick that up. Okay, so now it's saying um, 1865, so it's probably a little bit too generous, so let's um, let's chop that down to about 1500. Okay, um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my align tool, so I can, this time I'm going to type in AL for align, so I don't have to keep going back through the modify tab. And I'm going to align, that's my destination, and that's where I want to go. The reason being is that I'm trying to line these walls up, you know, good architectural practice, let's try and get everything low bearing, okay, with a double story house. Okay, and just take into account that we do have a wall running, you know, a roof running up here, so um, we're going to try and get some bearing to, into that at some stage. Okay, not too sure we will, yeah, tell what, let's slap in a couple of walls in there. Okay, well, there's my there's my middle grip midpoint grip. I'll take that. There's my snap. There's one there. Okay. Um, what distance have we got there? About three and a half. Okay. I'll, I'll, okay. If I want to try and find the middle snap of something, if I type in S and then M for mid. Ooh, no, it's picking out over there. Okay, but yeah, command, there's two short keys, so if you type in S, that means snap, then you've got M for midpoint, I for intersection, E for end. So, uh, nice little thing if you want to force um, Revit to look for something in particular. Let's just, uh, let's just whack this in here for now. Okay, so, um, I'm going to move, want to move this one around a little bit, so that's um, 1655, let's make that about 2 metres. Okay, 14, 12, oh, I can do something with here, I might turn this into a little powder room. Okay, this could be a study or an office or a guest room or something. Okay, so but what I want to do is I want to maybe put the door in here eventually, so I don't want this to be all flush, it looks a bit, you know, oppressive when you walk in here. Okay, so let's just say, for argument's sake, I do want to shorten this little powder room down. This will be a laundry in this side here. Okay. So I'm just going to go wall, and I'm just going to whack the, a wall in there. Okay, so hopefully I'm not going too fast for you, but I, you know, we should feel comfortable with some of these commands by now. Okay, I'm going to click on that wall there, and um, I'll, I'll give that a 1200 gap there. Okay, now what I want to do here is I want to get rid of this little piece here. Okay, but that is one wall, and I don't really want to have to go ahead and draw two different walls. So, I do have in my modify tab, if I go up the top here, okay, I have this little command in here next to the mirror one, okay, short key, this is called split element, okay, so left click on that and we get a scalpel tool, and what I can do here is I can go left click there, okay, puts a cut line in, left click there, another cut line, hit escape, Let's turn that into an independent piece of wall, which I can now delete. Okay, use the delete button or DE for delete. Okay, I can now go and use my trim command, TR, okay, to trim those corners out in this way. Now with the trim command, just make sure that you, uh, you know, you tell Revit which way you want to go. Okay. Okay, so we've got some sort of guest room here, we've got some sort of powder room or an ensuite. This could be a laundry. Okay, so right handy, so we've got water there, water there. Um, logic would say we're probably going to, a good bet would be to put our kitchen here. Okay, because we can get all our plumbing together. So, 
So I'm sort of thinking in here, kitchen, dining, and some sort of living space. So why not? Okay, annotate. I'm just going to grab my text box here. So TX for text. Um, go in here. That's yeah, three mil. It's like I said, it's not critical at this stage. So let's just whack in a few text. Um, boxes just to assist in you know direction as to what we're supposed to be achieving. Kitchen there. So I'm just going left click dining. I left click out of the text box to finish it. Okay, and then I go here, left click living zone, something to that effect. Okay, so it's you come in, sort of living zone, kitchen, dining. The idea is that we should, if we open the door here and we're walking through here, we should see, you know, doors and windows and things like that. Hopefully, to be able to see into the backyard and sort of, you know, create light and view through here. Okay. Now, let's go up to our first floor plan. So, double click on that. Okay. If I go to my. Um, and delay here in my property, so I can set my ground for underlay is on, and I can see um, the ground floor lines underneath, which is now really handy. Now I know where all my load bearing points are. So, you know, which means I can basically go around and actually start designing things a little bit. Okay, so um, Again, we're still dealing with internal walls. Make sure your uh, top constraint is correct. So, first floor ceiling there, that's okay. Okay. Actually, just a uh, quick check on distance. 2 2. She's pretty tight in there. Okay. Never mind. So. So I'm definitely, definitely not being world class uh, designer right now. Okay, so use my align tool. Pick that point there. So I, you just sorry, just finding things. What I'm going to do is okay. It's about 900 there. So there's lots of little things like this. We're just going to try and sort of, you know. If I want to be really pedantic, I should realign that those two there. Having said that, that's a massive gap there. That's fairly an efficient use of space. So if I click on that wall, go 1500. There we go. And more aligning there. So, you know, I'm sorry, it might be a little bit of a boring um, video, but at least it sort of helps you identify what's going on. Okay, so this actually I've done this with the design of taking into account that this, you know, this is an entire void. Technically, we don't need to build all of that there, but uh, we'll leave this here for now. Okay. Um, again, just uh, we'll whack another wall right in there. Okay. Um, this is an exceptionally generous space, but we could potentially call this a master bedroom. Um, there's certainly enough room there to put a bedroom uh, en suite and something else in there. Right. If I can do things like pick on this wall, I can just drag it out. Oh, I'll think about it. There we go. There's a bathroom there. Let's uh, utilize that design there. AL, zoom in, grab that ground floor line, pick on the top floor. So it's it is very, very handy. We do get a lot of um, you know, nifty things happening. You look in there, it's two point two meters. That's all we really need for a bathroom, so uh, some might disagree with me, but that's okay. Okay, we can trim trim to TR, pick this line, pick that line. Line. And I'll click on this line here. 
Okay, again, we've got this really, really generous room. Yeah, maybe it's a generous um, client. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to leave it there. We're going to finish the video because otherwise it's going to get a little bit too long and arduous. Okay, but like I said, you're not, you, if you're following this, you're not restricted to what I've drawn here. Um, you know, I'm a, but as an educator, I do tend to sort of try and, you know, keep things, you know, trying to keep my designs reasonably practical, even if they are, you know, just theoretical designs. Okay, but we'll um, we'll catch you later, and um, next video we'll start um, looking at, uh, we'll probably do some room scheduling, and um, start looking at what things we can chuck into our, into our, um, our project. Okay, see you later.